Today is a special day, my RC friends. And the reason can be easily seen because there are two beautiful excavators standing in front of my desk. On the one hand, it is the Volvo EC160E made by EE. It is the hydraulic version. And on the other hand, it's the Volvo EC160E made by EE Hobby, the electric version. And in this video, we will start today with the hydraulic version. And if the hydraulic version is a game changer, we will see. So it's a real pleasure to have this thing standing on my desk for you today. It is the double E hobby, the Volvo EC 160E, the hydraulic version. And it wasn't easy to get it because the Chinese manufacturer really is producing something special and many, many people all around the world want to get this machine. And in this video, I guess you will see what is the reason for. So far, as always, let's start with the ruler and the measurements. So, what about the size of this small guy? It is, by the way, scale 1 to 14 and the width is almost 20 centimeters. So let's check the, the length of the undercarriage. It is 28 centimeters and the height. We can use the cabin as the right thing to be measured. Yeah, 22 centimeters. The weight, by the way, is somewhere around 10 kilogram. And first of all, just be honest, what is your first impression of this level of detail? Isn't this amazing how this small guy looks like? And you always know what I love the most is everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything is made out of metal. The undercarriage, the tracks, the boom, the arm, the bucket, let's say, name it, the house, everything, the doors, everything has been made out of metal. And this is, for this price, it is just amazing. I have never seen an RC excavator, or even let's say an RC truck at this price level that has been at such a high level of detail. This is just amazing. It looks like a much more expensive machine. Just It looks just amazing. And it feels so good when it's made out of metal. And by the way, the tracks, I don't know if you already uh, recognized it, the tracks are beautiful. They look just, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, um, so, but I think it's the right time now to put some battery in there and to see how it moves. And so far, this is quite easy. Um, and by the way, yeah, first of all, by the way, it comes with this FlySky radio. It is the, the standard version. Um, and it is quite a good radio. You have many things you can adjust in the, in the menu. So far, quite good. And it is an R2R. You just take it out of the box, you put the battery in there and you can work with it. So, where comes the battery in? You have to remove these screws. Four screws, two at the bottom and two at the top but as you know i'm a lazy man i already removed the two at the bottom so we can only remove the top ones and then we are through with it so you have to open uh, you have you have to open the doors this is important because if you don't do this you cannot remove the, the counterweight now you just do it like this pull it and by the way, do you see this? 
do you see the do you see the painting do you see how it looks do you see the doors everything out of metal and this is really heavy this is really heavy it's amazing it's really amazing even here are some here are some uh, things written on the doors in the inside on off switch and so on this is not a decal this has been painted by the way and the Volvo logo is not just a simple logo it is when you just move with the finger above it you recognize that it is the 3d logo this is yeah say it let's say it together this is amazing and by the way it is fully licensed by logo uh, by logo sorry it is fully licensed by volvo and um, this is the reason why this looks like this because it is a fully licensed product this is really cool so um but let's move on right here is the battery it is a it is a lithium ion uh, battery uh, 6000 milliampere hours uh, a 2s a 2 a 7.4 volts and i read in the manual that you also can if if you need more power you can uh, put a 3s lipo in there or 3s lithium ion or whatever so just okay um just this is the battery so just put it in there in the av excavator and then you put the counterweight on it's on right i hope on is right i don't think so so if i'm wrong please tell me in the box below you put the counterweight back on the excavator at the excavator i don't know okay so then you just fix the screws by the way there is a nice door um, at the bottom of the, uh, at the top of the machine and then there's only uh, on off switch so you first of all you turn on the radio this is the typical fly sky functionality you push both buttons and when you're hearing this signal it says place all switches in their up position Now it's ready and then you push on the on off switch and you close the door, put the cables in there. What did I wrong? Okay. I did something wrong. It was my fault. Now it's closed and here we go. And what is the first thing I always do when uh, doing a review on an excavator? I turn on the lights for sure because I love the lights and we have two lights uh, at the front and we have one back light. And now comes the moment, the first movement. Let's move the excavator. And what do you think? Does it look cool? It works probably. Uh, what I did, by the way, I just uh, um, I just um, um, adjusted the endpoints. So when you just take it out of the box, it is running quite fast. And I removed, uh, no, I moved. I just adjusted the endpoints, so it's now not going that quickly. I like it more, and I think it's quick enough. So what else, what you can listen here, what you hear is there is an X, there is a, a fan working. Uh, is it right there? Sorry, I must check on the monitor. Yeah, I think there is the, there is, there is the, um, the hydraulic pump is there and the motor, hydraulic motor and there's a fan installed so that it just gets cooled. Um, and by the way, what I also change, and I, if you buy this thing, um, and I guess you should, because it's really cool, um, 
you should reduce um, the pressure of the hydraulic pump. It is when you just take it out of the box, it is up to 30 bar and this is way too much for such a machine. This is not necessary. I reduced it to 20 bar. You just, there is a, there's a screw, you turn to the left or to the right, you will see you just uh, work with the machine and then you see um, the pressure of, of the pump is reduced or is increased and then you, you just reduce it to 20 bars, everything is fine. What you always should also do is just reduce the endpoints because it's not necessary that the servers do the, the full way. Um, it's better when they just are reduced. So far, this is the un this is, these are the tracks. Really cool. And now the first movement you have. Oh, I didn't explain yet. Um, This is the switch for the pump, and you have three position, no, positions. Now it's out. It's uh, it's not um, it's not on. Yeah, it's it's off. Not out. Off. Now it only gets started when you need it, and now it's running all the time. I suggest you to use the middle position, the center position, that you only use the pump when it's needed. And now let's see how it works. Checking. Okay, looks good. And what do you think? The noise from the pump is quite quite okay, right? It's not that loud at all. And the movement... Looks really good! As I said, I, I just adjusted the endpoint so it's not going that quickly because for me it's always important to look like the real thing, you know? So, this is really cool. And what about the turning? Yeah, good sound, looks good. And what I always do is we are checking, we are checking the play. Because when you're loading a truck, it's important that you look good while doing this. It shouldn't look stupid when you're trying to load a truck and everything just falls aside. And therefore it's important, therefore it's important that there is almost best thing is there is no play in turning the machine and now let's see okay there is some play it is okay it is could be less yeah but it's okay I think you can you can work with it without looking stupid so this is okay but there's something another thing I just realized that there's also play I hope you can see it there's also play this way and yeah it doesn't matter for playing with it we just we just wait and see if this is okay while playing with it but let's check yeah there's some play but I think this is okay you can play with it this is okay yeah cool so let's move it a little bit let's see how much power it has and therefore, the old test just try to, how do you say it? Just try to lift the excavator by itself. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think there's no problem. And remember, 20 bars, okay? This is just enough. So you can you can do the cool thing when you're working on the on the construction side and it's just uh, very dirty everything you can uh, do this and then clean your tracks. Really cool. Another thing I would like to try before going to the real dirt, we will do this in a few seconds. We'll, I promise we will do this. You will see this machine digging in the dirt. Um, let's try to move the arm, 
the bucket parallel to the ground. This is important when you want to, yeah, just to do the exact work. Yes, I'm still practicing. Yeah, getting better. This machine This machine is, let's say together, it's awesome. It's really cool. It's amazing and check out the price. I will put the link in the description below. There's a German shop where you can buy it. Um, and this is really amazing. It looks amazing. Just a short sum up. It looks amazing. It feels amazing. It works really good. There is some play for sure, okay. But have, you have you have to have in your mind that at this price ratio, this is outstanding. Everything is made out of metal, and the best thing is, do you like to start into your hobby? Buy this if you want to start into this cool RC truck action hobby. Buy this excavator, and by the way. I'm not getting any provision if you buy something like this, okay? This is just, I'm really convinced that this is the right start into the hobby. And the cool thing is, when you're getting more serious while playing, when you're just, what you expect from a model is rising, you can improve this thing. At the moment, and I think the first, uh, it started to be sold uh, on the German market a few months ago. Until today, now we have, when this video is posted, it's the end of August uh, 2021, there is already a huge aftermarket with many parts. You can just improve this machine. You can make it even better. You can reduce the play. You can do many things. You can install a quick coupler and so on and so far. If you ask me, this is really a great start in the hobby. But now, without further ado, let's just check how it looks in the dirt.
Yeah, and back from the dirt, and what was your impression? Is it good? I think it is. You can work with it. It really has a lot of power and you can work with it. And it is, as I already mentioned, for me, it is the start in the hobby. And I really hope that you like this video. If you have questions, as always, please put your questions in the comments below. If you like the video, I highly appreciate your positive feedback, thumbs up. And by the way, the most important thing, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please do it right now. So, stay tuned, watch yourself, stay healthy, and I hope to see you back very soon. Bye-bye.